Okay, someone wrote. Oh, nice, bro. Are my editors from the Doo Room and team? Oh my god, guys, you always write it in the comments. They are actually. Are you straight? Hey, let me check my YouTube. What the hell? I just got 100,000 followers. Jesus Christ, guys, it's absolutely crazy. I finally hit. 100,000 followers I've done YouTube for like 3 or 4 months so Honestly guys, I can't thank you enough Like shit 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 Thank you so much For this video today, I've asked you guys in the comments on Instagram and YouTube to write me some questions because I wanted to make a 100,000 follower Q&A So let's just start and look at some questions and answer them Let's go so there is one guy that is asking me, will I go to the Walking Bell Award ceremony? Yeah, I'm actually going. It's gonna be pretty fun. I didn't really think that I would be going. And he also asked me, will I keep making YouTube videos? Will I, let's say, get YouTube as a job in the future? Or what will I do? And for me, because I don't have a college degree yet, I'm kind of like a bit like tripped about like if the YouTube thing doesn't work out in the future. Let's say, okay, I'm gonna do some more years with YouTube, maybe let's say let's do two or three more years with YouTube and somehow in that like time period it goes down. So I don't think that I will be keep making YouTube in the near future, but I mean who knows. The last thing that he asked me is, is there anything that I feel really uncomfortable with in Taiwan? And like the only thing that I can say I feel really that I feel really uncomfortable with is the um, fucking traffic. <laughs> like especially like the schools around Taiwan because I feel like I had to look over my shoulder all of the time, I had to look like everywhere. So that was annoying, <laughs> kind of uncomfortable because you don't know if, if you're gonna get hit by a scooter or not. Like, ah. What is my career plan if I'm not a YouTuber? The only thing that I can really think about right now, because in high school I had the like science class and I really really got to like chemistry and also biology. My plan before going to Taiwan and before doing YouTube was actually to study chemistry. And I still think that I'm gonna study chemistry in the future eventually. But I mean like who knows because there are so many like opportunities, so many things that you can do. And maybe like a certain topic now, but then in the future you may be interested in something else, maybe you're interested in. But I still wanna make a good amount of like money in the future. I think that, that I was also feel, uh, thinking about was to become a personal trainer but yeah you don't really have a college degree for that i feel that it makes you feel safe to have a college degree if you guys know what i mean i heard that you will stay in taiwan for three months that's great and what will you do after are you gonna go to denmark or what are you gonna do so the thing that i really want to do after being in taiwan for three months is that i'm gonna go to japan again and after that, i'm gonna go to la to visit my uncle and then I'm gonna of course film some stuff there. I'm gonna hang out with some friends that I made in LA and just have a good time. Afterwards, I'm gonna go back to Denmark and of course visit my family, visit my mother and I miss my family. So uh, that's gonna be really, really nice to go back there and nah, just to see them again. Which city do I like most in Taiwan? Hmm, Miao Li. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. Um, I think that's a hard one. I think it's... um. Oh, it's hard because I really really like Kaohsiung, but I also really really like Taipei. So I think the number one city in Taiwan is probably Taipei. And then afterwards, I would say Kaohsiung for sure. I really really like Kaohsiung. I really like their beef noodles there. But I just feel because I've been living in Taipei for the most amount of time here in Taiwan, I feel it's more convenient and I feel really good here in Taipei. I really, really didn't use like the MRC as transportation that much in Kaohsiung. So uh, I'm gonna give it to Taipei. Taipei number one. Okay, someone asked me, do you wanna study in Taiwan in the future? I don't think I wanna study in Taipei in the future. No way. Uh, there's nothing like against Taiwan or anything like that. If I wanna study somewhere, I want to study in either 
Denmark because it's free for me to study there or USA because I really want to immigrate to the United States in the future. I hope that I can study in the US but uh, we'll see, we'll see. I like to hear your journey transforming into a YouTuber and your experiences coming to Taiwan. If I was going to do YouTube, I would either do like workout videos or play video games. Someone else play like Minecraft and stuff like that. I was really, really into Minecraft so Actually, I had my own like Minecraft YouTube channel for a while, but I stopped that and then I continued to uh, make YouTube with TF2 where I made some like animated banners that people could use and after that I switched to making 3D intros for YouTubers and after that, yeah, I made the Doodleman and then I transformed my channel into like more of like a vlog channel. I feel that's pretty pretty cool. I kinda, I still have some ideas of what I wanna film in the future. If I wanna keep making vlogs or what I wanna like make. And that's just something that I need to, you know, discuss with myself and need to figure out what I really, really wanna make because I feel like right now when I'm like filming, I'm getting better at something every time. For example, in the uh, like trip around Taiwan, some of the like first videos were pretty bad, but I feel like I got better and better at filming every time, so it got you know better along the way. But I also really want to like make videos about general mental health and how you can lose weight, how you can gain muscle, how you maybe can feel better, and just maybe like something like but how you can glow up, how you can dress and so on. <laughs> just just dress like me, guys. Just make videos that and help people become happy. That's what I grew up with and that's what I feel is really interesting. Do you have a brother? Yes, I do. He's my older brother. He said, what the you get? Yeah. <laughs> I want to know more about Denmark, the country, the food, the clothing, the housing, transportation and entertainment. I'm actually gonna go back to Denmark. Of course, I'm gonna try to film a lot of like Danish things, like how people, you know, cook different dishes and how, for example, people cook and eat pork in Denmark compared to Taiwan. And you know, it's quite different. Of course, I'm gonna make some videos about Denmark. No worries, guys, no worries. What is my short-term plans and long-term plans? I feel that's a hard one, but I feel long-term plans. I really want to retire my mother. So hopefully, like if I'm grinding with YouTube and so on, I can hopefully retire her. But also, I'm hoping that when I'm doing YouTube, it's more like a short-term plan. But I just hope, you know, this year I can just grow my channel a lot and try to make my videos a lot better. This question is pretty funny. Are my editors from the Doodle and team? <laughs> Oh my god, guys, you always write it in the comments, but I, I, I understand what you mean, like, because, like, the, the editing style is a bit similar, and I'm kinda, I'm probably gonna edit or change my editing style in the future. Right now, I feel it's okay, but the editors, the editors, are they from Doodleman? Are they not from Doodleman team? They are actually not from the Doodleman team. <laughs> oh my god, guys, Jesus. So many comments about that. It's so funny, like, oh my god. He said it just must be from Guru Man Team. He said it just must be from Guru Man Team. No, no. And I don't edit my own videos because if I did, they would suck ass. Actually, I used to have some videos up on my channel that I edited myself and they were, ooh, they were smelly. Okay, someone wrote, I'm a helicopter. Oh, nice, bro. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't have a girlfriend. I'm just feeling that I haven't really found someone that I've been really, really interested in yet. Is there any Taiwanese food that I really, really like? Ooh, I think that's a good question. The Taiwanese food that I mostly like is gonna be beef noodles as the first one, then um, dumplings, and then the um, like mi fan thingy, the mixed up like rice with eggs and pork. Oh my god, that's so freaking good. What is your MBTI? When I'm used to talking with a lot of people, I get more extroverted, but when I'm used to lay on the couch all day and watch Netflix and stuff like that, I really like to be in my like own. So I think it's a bit of both. Will my mom come to Taiwan? Who knows? Who knows? Hopefully in the future, she will. I'm just trying to get a ticket so I can buy her a flight ticket to Taiwan. My top favorite free home cooking meals. If you guys have seen 
the Danish video, I'm explaining like what I'm eating like in a day and so on. It's gonna be the uh, diarrhea dish <laughs> that I'm making. It's a combination of cream of rice, it's like rice powder, and protein powder, and bananas and almond butter and salt. It's so freaking good and it's so easy to make. And it kind of looks like um, rice shit, <laughs> but <laughs> it's good. It tastes really, really good. So you guys have to try it. And my number two, it's gonna be my home cooked burger. I feel my home cooked burger. So good, so freaking good. Cost bun, chili mayo, cost some salad, bacon, patty with cheese, then garlic sauce, some more bacon, some more salad, and boom, it's the best. It's so freaking good. And remember, guys, when I'm making dinner, no tomatoes, no pickles. No, 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 no. And to my own number one dish is the homemade pizza. I also made that in the video where I'm going to Taiwan. So, <laughs> and then, of course, tomato sauce, and then mozzarella, cheese, and chili sauce. And chili sauce. So good, so good. Do you ever feel lonely or homesick when solo travel in Taiwan? I feel in general like if I don't have anything to do, like if I'm not going to the gym at least four times a week, if I'm not filming, then I feel pretty much homesick like every time because I don't really like interact with too many people. Yeah, lonely sometimes. How much do you earn from your YouTube videos? I actually earn that much and it's kind of scary right now for me because paying rent in Taiwan and traveling around and so on like that, it's, it's a lot of money you have to pay for that. And it takes a really, really long time for me to earn that bag from YouTube and I haven't earned that bag yet so uh, hopefully, hopefully I will in the future. <laughs> How does it feel to be kind of like famous in Taiwan? Like famous in general? I still don't feel that I'm like famous but it's so right now like when I'm walking down the street like usually I just meet some fans they say like oh my god Anton or like Anton what up can I take a picture with you? And of course I'm gonna say like yeah bro of course you can take a picture with me but it's so um so random in a way, it never happened in Denmark. So um, it's something new, it's something that I feel is really, really funny. And I enjoy talking with my fans, I feel. And don't really see any negative side of it, I feel. I only it being fun, but it's, it's really surprising. Have you ever thought that you would go to Taiwan if you didn't meet Ian and Eric? Sorry guys, <laughs> I've never thought about going to Taiwan before. No way to you guys or anything like that, but I feel like in Denmark, usually we don't hear a lot of like the Asian countries besides like Japan, because I used to watch a lot of anime, so I really wanted to go there. So uh, yeah, I have never thought about going to Taiwan before I met Ian and Eric, but it's good that I met them. Alrighty guys, last two questions. Are you straight? I'm straight bro. Last one, how is the life in Denmark compared to Taiwan? Because I live in a, on a small island, I think the population is around 10,000 people. It's kinda, it's really really more, it's really different compared to Taiwan. Yeah, in Taiwan I live in a big city and in Denmark I live on a small island. I feel like there are a lot more space in Denmark. You have like bigger houses, you and I feel like the Danish life are probably more chill compared to the Taiwanese one because I've heard that, for example, the Taiwanese schools here are crazy. Like you have to go to like cram school after you're finished with like middle school and high school and so on like that. And we don't really do that in Denmark. So that's like one thing. Like in my middle school, we didn't have to do like too many crazy things. We didn't really have to, you know, study every day, go to cram school, anything like that. We just came to the school to have fun and go home and do some homework, I guess. And oh, the weather is different. The weather is so bad here. Too hot in the summer. The weather in Denmark, like if it's winter, don't go to Denmark. But what is the difference? Like housing wise, I like Denmark's housing wise more because it's probably more new in general. And studying in university, I can't really say much about that because I don't have any experience with studying in university in Taiwan or Denmark, but in Denmark it's free for me to study, so that's really, really nice. What is the difference? I feel that Taiwan probably has more culture. I don't feel that Denmark has too big of like a culture. We just drink a lot of beer, but yeah, it's really, really different. And I feel like the people from Denmark compared to Taiwan, I feel that the people from Taiwan is more like welcoming, because if you talk to like a Danish person, they maybe think like, why, why, why is that guy talking to me? Go away. Go away. Like, 
we don't really use too much time on others. Like we um, have like reserved time, if that's the word. Yeah, I feel that Taiwanese people are more welcoming. I think you guys should try to go to Denmark in the future and then you can experience yourself what the difference is compared to Taiwan. But of course, when I'm gonna go back to Denmark, I'm gonna try to make some more like cultural videos about Denmark and show you guys. Yeah, thank you guys for asking me some questions. It has been so nice to read all of your questions and to answer some of them. It has been really, really amazing. And of course, guys, I can't thank you enough for finally helping me to get 100,000 subscribers. It's Freaking amazing! I feel so good. I mean, I feel like I should go out and film some more videos for you guys and then meet you on the street and then talk to you. If you want to talk, of course. <laughs> I feel really, really honored to be able to be here, to be able to interact with all of you guys and be able to make YouTube and actually have a following. That's so awesome. It's the craziest thing ever. I think that's it for this video, guys. And Thank you again so much for helping me reach 100,000 followers and thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!